Hello, welcome to part one of the Apex CCTV video tutorial on configuring your POS system to communicate to your GeoVision DVR using a GV data capture box V3 or V3E. This will be a multi-part series dedicated to POS configuration and testing, as well as the physical connectivity. Part one will cover POS system compatibility and testing. We will start this tutorial by looking at GeoVision's website. There is a very helpful page that provides all of the information that is contained in this video series located at www.usavisionsys.com forward slash support. On the lower portion of the screen, click where it says POS. This will take you to GeoVision's FAQ on POS connectivity to their GB data capture box series. GeoVision's website, and they have a document located at this URL here that covers how to do all of the testing, how you, which interfaces you can use to connect, how you can determine the printing mode of your POS, POS cache register, how to configure the data capture box. And then this is an area here for some, some specific POS systems. They uh, are not typical, and so you do have to follow some very specific for the Ruby Su Super System 2, Gemstone, and the Gilbarco G site. And then the next thing you wanna do is if you are going to be use, using one of the Ethernet data capture boxes, how do you configure that capture box to do the text overlay? This is going to be the first in a series of various different videos, and the first thing that we are going to cover here is going to be the Microsoft Hyper Terminal Test. Now, if you click on the link, it'll walk you through how to go about it. For demonstration purposes, I am going to show you how to go through it, but I am going to have to use a TCP IP connection because I do not have a cache register available for me, but I can duplicate roughly what you're going to see when you see the test. The first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to follow this portion of it pretty much step by step, you're going to need a null modem cable. or what's also referred to as a crossover DB9 cable. And that'll connect up direct to a COM port on the back of the computer. And then it'll also connect up to your cross to your cache register. And it's just a direct connection. And once you've got those connected, what you'll do is you'll go to Start, you'll go to Programs, you'll go to Accessories, you'll go to Communications, and then go to Hyper Terminal. And the very first thing it's going to do is ask you to give the connection that you're trying to connect to a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Test. What you would normally select here is COM1 and click OK, and then you're going to select the baud rate. In most cases, it's going to be 9600, and your flow control is going to be none. But you need to know for sure what the baud rate, the bit per second baud rate that comes out of your cash register is, so that you can make a connection that will talk to your machine. Now, I'm going to click Cancel here and start over, just so... Um, I can demonstrate how you're going to get data out of this. And I'm going to use a TCP IP connection. And I'm going to connect directly to one of my machines that are on, that's on my network. And whenever I click that, I am now connected in a connection. Now what you would do at this point is then run transactions on your POS system 
And at that point in time, you should start seeing data come across. And now, as data comes across from your cache register, you will see the data automatically populate. Once you've run those transactions, you want to compare the data that you're seeing come across here to the receipt that you get. And if most of the data is accurate, like say 100% of the data is accurate, you're ready to go. You just have to go ahead and continue on to the next steps. However, if it is not accurate, the next step that you need to do is take a snapshot of this data and that can be done just by highlighting it and you can copy just like normal or you can do what's referred to as taking a screenshot and that's done by hitting alt and print screen on your desktop going to start programs accessories and you should have a program called paint in there and all you have to do is paste in there you'll get that snapshot and then that snapshot needs to be sent to GeoVision I'm going to close out of the hyper terminal What I have here is an example of, say you're getting most of the data correct, but you have just some random strings of information in there. That's a situation where you'd need to contact GeoVision, take the screenshot that I just showed you, and send them that image. Now, if you're going to get in complete garbage and it's not comparing at all to whatsoever, make sure that you've got the select correct baud rate cor selected and that you're using the correct COM port if you're not getting any data whatsoever once you try and make that connection. That concludes part one of the POS data capture testing. Look for part two coming shortly.